You know, Corey Fleming. Have you heard his radio show, Wake Up With Flem? First thing somebody's going to say is, you know, I thought you were going to do this in the morning, and you know something, you're right. But then again, all I can say is that trust me, this for me right now, this morning, you know, one of those late nights and even later mornings. And so here it is, uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, and for me, it's about the equivalent of eight o'clock in the morning. So it's still morning, technically speaking, in a way. Anyhow, you ever had times when perfectly ordinary words would kind of strike you funny? That even though you've heard them or used them thousands or tens of thousands of times, that once in a while it just strikes you completely funny. Perhaps it's the way somebody says it or something like that. Well, that happens to me once in a while. And this is one example. And that is the word phlegm. And we all know what that is. That's that nasty lich that uh, you sometimes have to cough up and so on and so forth. So let's not go there. That's disgusting. But it struck me funny the other day. It struck me real funny. Because I looked at it, I saw it in print, and I looked at it, and, I, and it just went through my head. What if it was pronounced the way it was spelled? Because if it was pronounced the way it was spelled, it would be phlegm. Which is a completely different kind of thing. You know, what do you do to the annoying neighbor that mows his lawn at 6 o'clock in the morning? You phlegm him until he can't walk. <laughs> and that's just one example. That, you know, it's wide open for all kinds of interpretation and interesting use. And that's just... One example of the kind of strange things that occur to me every now and then. And I'm going to leave you with that thought. Flag up. I guarantee you one thing. You will never forget that alternate pronunciation. Take it easy. Come out of here.